Example six, we're gonna find the value of k so that the line through the given points has the given slope. And check your solution. So we are given the slope. We know that slope, the way that you find slope is you take y2 minus y1, or the rise, and you divide that by x2 minus x1, or the run. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my two points, I'm gonna label them x1, y1, x2, y2. And then this is my slope. So I'm going to use this equation to help me figure out what k is. So my slope is 4, plugging it straight in for m. Okay. y2 is 6, minus y1 is 2k, over, let's see, x2 is k, minus x1, which is negative 3. Okay. Minus a negative, that gives me positive. Now what I need to do is I need to solve for k. And the best way to do that, well, there's two ways. But you got to get k out of the denominator. You can't solve for it while it's in the denominator. So you can cross multiply, which this is like 4 over 1. Okay? Or that's the same thing as basically multiplying both sides by this denominator, k plus 3. Ms. Rusk? So on this side, the k plus 3 and the k plus 3, those reduce. And on this side, probably the best thing I can do is distribute. So I'm going to have, and I'm going to move into my summary, but we got plenty of room here for a summary. So we're going to do 4k plus 12 equals 6 minus 2k. I'm going to get all my k's on one side, everything else on the other side. So I'll add 2k to both sides and subtract 12 from both sides. All in one nice step, so I get 6k equals negative 6. So k ends up being negative 1. Alright, so I'm going to put this back into my points, and I'm going to double check that it actually gives me, right, because it says check your solution. I'm going to double check that if I put that into my points, I actually get a slope of uh, 4. Alright, so my points actually become. Let's see. Points are negative 3, and then 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2. And then my other point is negative 1, k, right? k is just negative 1, and 6. So now I'm going to find the slope between these two. So slope being, and again, I'll call this x1, y1, x2, y2. All right, so slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right, so 6 plus 2 gives me 8, and then negative 1 plus 3 gives you 2, and that gives you a slope of 4. So that checks out. k is negative 1, and we are done.